shopping which is magnetic dipole moment of a magnet or circular wheel okay so first of all we are discuss about for the bar magnet in that we have know that the dipole means two poles so every magnet having two poles means north and south and eventually that having the pole strength which is denoted by small m pole strength is denoted by small m on the south pole it is negative on on, on the north pole it is positive okay so here from the center there is a one axis is going and that axis is called as magnetic axis and this is a perpendicular point at the center that point is called as neutral point then how we find the magnetic dipole moment of a bar magnet okay the distance between these two poles is separated by smallest distance we have denoted by small a and the product of uh, magnitude of pole strength one of the pole strength is into distance between them is given a quantity that having the name magnetic dipole moment its name as magnetic dipole moment okay and then second magnetic moment of electric uh, current carrying coil okay suppose we are consider this current carrying coil which having current i and area a then magnetic dipole moment for that current carrying coil is equal to m which is denoted by m and which is equal to i into a i is the current a is the area of circular coil if coil having number of turns then we have multiply by that n so our magnetic dipole moment of that coil is m is equal to n i a so unit of this quantity is ampere meter square so this is the yes i unit so how you find the direction of magnetic dipole moment in that particular coil okay so for that we have used our right hand thumb rule how we use the right hand thumb rule to find out the direction of magnetic dipole moment okay so when we hold a circular coil in our right hand at that time so curl finger show the direction of current and outstretched thumb show the direction of magnetic dipole moment again i repeat outstretched thumb show the direction of magnetic dipole moment by using a right hand thumb rule then after that we have find the torque acting on the current carrying loop okay suppose we are consider a uniform magnetic field in that we have consider a current carrying loop rectangular current carrying rectangular in that what should we have to consider here okay so on each arm we have uh, represent the forces okay on first arm we have the force f1 on the second f2 on the third f3 and on the vc arm we have the f4 force okay those these are the rectangular uh, these, this is the rectangular loop that's why the this side is l1 and this is l2 now the force acting on the side vc force acting on this side vc is f4 and f4 is equal to I L to B sin ninety minus theta. Okay, because we have to show this uh, coil is rotated due to that force by angle theta. So here we have to say that ninety minus theta because this arm is perpendicular to the field and due to that force the uh, coil is rotated by angle theta. We have to show in this figure. Then the force on side B C. Uh, sorry. PC. Sorry, the force on side AB, AB, and DC are F1 and F3. They are equal in magnitude and opposite directions. That's why they are cancel each other. Okay, and due to these forces, there is a some kind of deflection by angle theta. Here we have to show. Okay, and this gives the change of this L2. Because moment of this R is shifted like this, so which makes an angle theta with itself. Okay, so moment of R, this shifting of that uh, length is one half L two sine theta between these two forces. Okay, how to find the torque from this? So see here. So torque from this is what? Total torque. 
the total torque uh, for the each half distance each half distance from these two forces and this total perpendicular distance so how you find here we have say that i l1 b so this is the force i l1 b which is acts along that okay into one half l2 sin theta plus I L one B into one half L two sine theta. Okay. So like this, simply we have or this thing like this. F one and F two, which I solve this. Hmm? So what happens? The moment of arm is shifted like this with angle theta. So the rotation of this side is like changes with an angle theta. So this is this half side is one half L two sine theta. This half side is one half L two sine theta. Like this. Okay. So our total torque is what? Total torque is two I L two. One half L two sine theta. So two to get cancel. I sorry B is remaining. I L one L two B sine theta. So two is equal to I A B sine theta. If coil is having a number of turns, at that time two is equal to L I A into B sine theta, and as we know from this equation, L I A is kinetic downward moment means M B sine theta. This is in scalar form. We are writing vector form. So M bar cross B bar. So this is the required equation for torque acting on the current carrying loop in an uniform magnetic. Field. Okay. After this, we have to discuss about work done. Work done due to rotating magnetic dipole. After this, what we have discussed? Work done in rotating magnetic dipole. So work done in rotating magnetic dipole, and that time what happens? We know that work done is equal to what force into displacement. So here is the work done is what it is rotating. So here force is analogous to torque, and linear displacement is analogous to angular displacement. So for the small Rotation t theta for the small rotation t theta. So we have considered small work done is equal to what two d theta. So we know the formula of torque from the last equation, which is m b sine theta d theta. Okay, m b sine theta d theta. If Work done changes from theta one to theta two. So work done changes from theta one to theta two. Total work done is what? Theta one to theta two. V W equal to theta one to theta two. M B sine theta d theta. Okay. So at that time, what happens? So 
so one that is equal to m b integration of sin theta is cos theta theta one to theta two so m b cos theta one i think minus minus cos theta so that's why cos theta one minus cos theta two so this is the work here we consider case if if theta one is equal to zero degree and theta two is equal to theta so the work done is what work done is m b in bracket one minus cos theta by using the property of trigonometry uh, we have two m b sin square theta by two okay so this is the condition about the work after this from this work done we have to find the potential energy of rotating dipole so potential energy of rotating dipole so i'll find the potential energy of rotating dipole potential energy is defined as 1 done from given direction to perpendicular direction means we have to rotate perpendicular how so what are changes from theta to 90 degree okay so potential energy u is equal to what i will find this what are theta minus what then 90 okay so what are theta is what this is the what are theta so which is what mb 1 minus cos theta okay and what is over the 90 what are 90 is what 0 to 90 means mb minus mb cos 90 means 0 so what are the 90 is mb okay so minus mb so what remains mb minus mb cos theta minus mb so mb will be get cancelled we have the minus mb cos theta this is in the scalar form again in the right vector form u is equal to minus m bar dot v bar we call this is the scalar form so this is the work done in rotating dipole sorry potential energy of rotating dipole okay so this is all about the equation which are related with magnetic Dive. Thank you.